we can't stop, the sea is rising. If you allow for a two degree rise in temperature, you are actually agreeing to kill us. I have an objective, which is to save a nation. I know it's a huge task. I've been arrested 12 times. I've been tortured twice. I spent 18 months in solitary. We won our battle for democracy in the Maldives. A year later, there are those who tell us that solving climate change is impossible. Well, I am here to tell you that we refuse to give up hope. You do like a battle, don't you? It won't be any good to have democracy if we don't have a country. Everything is worse than we originally thought. It's got much, much worse. <laughs> This is a mission, and I have to get it done. We need a deal in Copenhagen, and I feel that Maldives can be instrumental. President Nashi, do you think you will get a deal that, that, that you think is worthwhile? I presume that you don't want to sign a national suicide note. Some leaders here say these are the toughest negotiations they have that ever been involved. Shadid. India, China, the United States, uh, big emitters, Prime Minister, they're not going to go along with that. It's hundreds of millions of people. You know, Manhattan is as low as the Maldives. This is just one instance when Maldives is asking our friends to help us. We just can't disappear. We just can't. <laughs>